What's up guys? Um, today I'm going to be showing you a YouTube video on how to um, create a splash screen in Android Studio for your app. So this is basically the screen that when you open up your app, um, you see like before the actual app loads. Um, this is like, It just makes your app look nicer and it's pretty easy to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm just going to name the application Splash Tutorial. Um, keep everything you know, about the same. Defaults, empty activity, finish. Whew. Wait for that to load. Let me bring that over here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is everything out so I can see it. And I'm going to open up the main activity. Continue waiting for it to build. Patiently. <coughs> OK, so. First up, I am going to switch this to a relative layout. And I am going to change this text view to say main activity. And I'll just put that in the center. Okay. Um, once I've done that, I am going to go over here and I am going to right click new activity empty activity and I'm going to name this one splash <clears throat> okay so first thing I'll do on this one is go to the XML file and switch it to a relative layout you don't have to do that but just what I prefer and I'll put a progress bar again not absolutely necessary but for the purpose of this tutorial, it'll make it look a little nicer. Okay, so now I want to go into my splash.java. And once I am here, give myself some space. Okay, and then I will type thread my thread equal new thread. Open parentheses. And here I'm going to right click, generate, override methods. And I'm going to hit run void. Okay, so once I've done that, I will delete this and I will put instead, um, I will put try open bracket, oh, space open bracket, okay. And I will put sleep and I'm going to put it for 9,000 milliseconds or nine seconds. You can change that to whatever you'd like. Intent, intent, equal. equal, new, intent, get application context, main activity dot class. Okay, start activity, intent, finish. Okay, and then after that, I will put catch, open bracket, oh, I mean catch, and then enter open exception, e, open bracket, e dot print stack trace. Okay, so once I've done that, make that look a little bit nicer, add a and then, basically, my last step is to red dot start. Okay, so one last step. You're going to go back over to your console. Click on Android Manifest. And basically, where you see main activity, you're going to change that to splash. And when you see splash, you're going to change that to main activity. Okay, so now when I run this, we should get a nine-second splash screen. So let's see if it works. Let's 
switch it back over to the just so you get a second look. <clears throat> Wait for a gradle to finish building. Patiently waiting. Not sure why it's taking so long. But um, I guess I could take a minute here to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you if this helps you or any of my other videos have helped you. Um, I'm trying to get partnered, so any subscribers help. I need to get to a thousand. Maybe I can speed this up when the video ends. So here's the splash screen, and then after nine seconds, it should take us to my or our main activity, and that it does. All right, so thanks guys for watching. Please like the video and comment if you need any uh, any help. I'm gonna upload the source code of this onto my GitHub, and I'll put that in the description. Uh, have a great day.